Hey, my beautiful Aquarius gang, what's happening? What's crack a -lack? and what's popping, baby? It's your boy Africanta Moon's Tarot, and I'm coming at you guys with your May 15th through the 31st mid month tarot reading. I hope you guys are well, and if so, let me know down in the comments down below. As always, these readings are general, so if they resonate, that's awesome, and if not, it's not your message. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, you're more than welcome to. All that information is going to be linked down in the description box down below. Uh, with that all being said, Aquarius, good morning, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your day, and let's take a look here and see what we got going on for your mid-May 15th through the 31st. Messages from my Aquarius gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Throughout mid-May 15th through the 31st, what do we got coming through for Team Aquarius here? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Throughout mid-May 15th through the 31st. All right, Aqua, you guys already came through fast. Let's go ahead and get ourselves one more shuffle. And we'll take a look here and see what we got going on, baby. Hopefully, we got some pretty fantastic stuff. Aquarius, overall energy for you guys here is coming up as the Eight of Wands. It's like shooting stars is what I heard. So definitely moving in the right direction. Um, when we're talking about shooting stars, you usually make a wish upon a shooting star. So you're moving towards some sort of wish fulfillment. I like that for you guys a lot, actually. So Eight of Wands talks about travel. Could be physical travel for some of you. You might be traveling somewhere for work, or you could be traveling to get some sort of job interview that's somewhere outside of your state um, that is a dream job, okay? So I definitely feel like you're hopping away towards your wish fulfillment now we do have in your current energy we do have your five of pentacles we got to take a look at what that's about but taking a look at what you're dealing with you're dealing with the hierophant and looking at the outcome that's present we have here the tower so we do have two cards here that are usually like whoa these are big right so let's try to decipher and see what's going on so eight of wands to the five of pentacles so you're on your way to your wish fulfillment but when we talk about law of attraction, manifestation, right? You always hear the term living in lack or living in abundance. Which one are you gonna choose to live in this month? Are you gonna choose to live in lack or are you gonna choose to live in abundance? Because at the end of the day, even if we don't have what it is we're inquiring about, feeling it as if you already have it brings it so much closer to you than if you were to sit there and say, well, I don't have what it is that I want, so therefore I'm living in lack. All right. So try not to be in that mindset where you're in that space of, well, I don't have what it is that I want just yet. Feel as if and act as if you already have what it is that you want, Aquarius. Okay. So for example, eight of wands moving towards your wish fulfillment. Let's say your wish fulfillment is a dream job that is getting lined up for you right now. If there is a part of you that is having doubt, if there is a part of you that is still scared that you may not get it or that it might not come towards you, you could be manifesting yourself and building up resistance to actually not have that job. If you have something perfectly lined up for you right now, if you have your wish fulfillment within your grasp, within your reach, feel and act as if you already have it and it's gonna come closer to you. There won't be resistance. You're gonna invite it in. You're gonna manifest it in, okay? Now, taking a look at what you're dealing with, you are dealing with the Hierophant here. I think the Hierophant is a very powerful lesson that's coming towards you guys in mid-May. I think that this powerful lesson you'll be receiving is to stop doubting yourself, Aquarius. I definitely feel like there has been a lot of feelings within your life of self-doubt. Maybe you grew up having a lot of self-doubt. Maybe you grew up always being told that you couldn't do this or you couldn't do that. But whatever the case is, Aquarius, looking at the outcome that's present we got here the tower this is a massive fucking awakening that's coming towards you you know a lot of people look at the tower card and they're like oh my god that means my life's gonna go to shit no the tower card is an awakening all right this is identified with the number synchronicity 555 so if you've been seeing 555 that means that massive and major change is about to occur in your life so if you've been seeing 555 or been feeling like changes are occurring or things are coming your way they are all right so one of the biggest things that i think needs to be eliminated moving into the second half of may is going to be your self-doubt especially if you have put yourself or if you have thought about yourself as a very doubtful type of person like if you see yourself as a doubtful person definitely work on that as much as possible remember acting as if and believing that you can have everything that you desire is going to pull you closer towards it when you doubt that you'll receive what it is you want you push it away from you so manifest whatever this is guys this eight of wands could be a job it could be a relationship it could be a major lifestyle change coming in for you you just got to be willing to believe that you can have it act as if you already got it and don't doubt yourself, okay? We gotta go all in this month. It's not about, you know, having something lined up for you and being scared that you're gonna lose it. 
You know, never be scared that you're gonna lose what it is that you want. We all are so powerful and we're all able to manifest everything we desire in this life. We just have to align ourselves there, okay? So I think the massive awakening is that I need to stop self-doubt. Let's clarify the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles showing up here as the current energy for Aquarius? And we got here the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords, of course, talks about heartbreak, right? But it also talks about separation. So maybe something that caused the energy of lack here or the energy of self-doubt here could be your separation from the things you've wanted to have in life. Aquarius, you may feel back in your history, back in your past, that you've been wounded because you've always been so close to having what you want, but you never attained it. For example, let's say that there were uh, or there was a person that you loved. You might have lost a person you loved. Let's say there was a job that was awesome that you almost had. Let's say you didn't get that job. All right, I definitely feel a past of disappointments of things that you almost achieved but didn't quite get it. And I think that that's what instilled a lot of self-doubt within you. But at the end of the day, we have to remember the more that we doubt ourselves, the more we push away the things that we genuinely want. So a lot is happening here this month for you that's bringing in a lot of major transformation and a lot of major change. We also have Pluto in retrograde and Pluto is the planet of change and transformation. So do not get caught up in doubting yourself. I need you guys to stand in your power this month and recognize how powerful you are as a manifester, okay? Everybody in this world can manifest everything that they desire in their life, 110%, okay? So no doubts, man. Go all in for whatever this Eight of Wands is. Let's go ahead and clarify that next. What's up with the Eight of Wands showing up as the overall energy for Aquarius? What is this wish fulfillment that they're on the way towards? And we got here the Page of Pentacles. We got here the King of Cups. For some of you, it could be that love is on the horizon. If it is on the horizon, don't show any fear. Enjoy that connection that comes on in for you. Uh, for another number of you that um, this Eight of Wands is referring to, we have here Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and we also have here Ten of Cups. So a lot of it is referring to love, but with the Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups here, this could be talking about your wish fulfillment in regards to finances, in regards to your work. So your career could be taking off here as well. So this is actually a good time uh, with the way that the planets are aligning for career changes. Um, and this is a good time right now, especially if you're starting a new business, for that career to glow and flourish, okay? Or to grow and flourish, sorry. Uh, so be mindful of that as well, especially with that new moon in Taurus we just had. It's going to be a good time for businesses and finances to be flowing. So Aquariuses, whether this is a job that you're moving towards or a relationship that you're moving towards, right? Whatever this wish fulfillment is that you're about to get moving into mid-May, do not doubt yourself. Believe that you already have it. Believe that you can have it. Act as if you have it, and you're going to bring it much closer to you, all right? And I know that it's incredibly general what I'm saying right now because every Aquarius has every, you know, they have a different perspective on what their wish fulfillment is. Like one Aquarius could say, my wish fulfillment is to be a rock star. The other Aquarius could say, my wish fulfillment is to be with this person that I've loved ever since the fifth grade, you know? Every wish fulfillment is different. So there is alignment coming here for you guys in mid-May, do not doubt yourself. You will see the alignment coming in. And when you feel like you are gonna have it, you're gonna get it, all right? So let's go ahead and move a little forward and talk about this Hierophant for a moment. So what is this lesson that Aquarius really needed to learn? Moving into mid-May, please, mid-May 2021. We have here the Sun card, we have here the Page of Swords, and we have here the Queen of Cups. Yeah, don't screw over your happiness, guys. Page of Swords to the Sun card. Don't let your emotions get in the way of your happiness. What do I mean by your emotions? Well, your feelings of the past. Remember how I said a lot of you guys came from a past of disappointments where you were so close to getting the thing you wanted and then the moment you were about to get it, it was no longer there? Don't let that affect your present. Remember, I keep talking about self-doubt, but the more that you reinforce self-doubt, the more that you push away the things that you want. So don't screw over your happiness here, guys. If you have something that comes in your life this month, that is magical, that is spectacular, that is amazing and fresh, be happy with it, be present to it, and put your all into it, okay? Live your life with no fear. Ace of Cups, live your life with love, all right? Not conflict, especially internal conflict. By the way, guys, this reading is a freestyle reading, so <laughs> I don't know why, man. I feel like lately, most of my tarot readings have been coming out in a freestyle format, so that's pretty cool. But either way, Aquarius, there's more stuff on the horizon for you. Six of Wands. What else do we have here? Nine of Swords. And then what else do we have? 
Judgment card, and then one more card, Ace of Wands. So yeah, don't fear this, guys. Whatever's coming in for you, you're getting aligned to your wish fulfillment. You know, Nine of Swords talks about anxiety, stress, worry about the situation that's coming up. But you're literally, your angels and your guides are telling you not to be worried because there's a whole beautiful new beginning for you right now that's coming in. So Aquarius, to sum up this reading, because I don't really feel like there's much more to talk about, uh, to sum up this reading, moving into mid-May, you're stepping into alignment with your wish fulfillment, okay? And I think that it's really going to come down to, do you want to live in lack or do you want to live in abundance? Because the Hierophant is trying to teach you to live in abundance. You see, every time you lived in lack, Aquarius, every time you had self-doubt, you pushed away what you were about to receive, okay? In reference to your past. Let's say that you love somebody, but you doubted that they loved you or you doubted that the two of you would have a future. Well, did it work out? Probably not. So I feel like the Hierophant is trying to teach you, please stop doubting yourself, continue believing in yourself because you can have what it is that you want, okay? So whatever wish fulfillment's coming in here for you, for most of you, I see that it's love. But if it's not love and your wish fulfillment is your dream job or it's your business taking off, whatever the case is, I need you to believe in yourself. I need you to believe in your determination to be successful. Another lesson that's coming in for you as well is that if you do have some happiness here that does manifest in your life, moving throughout mid-May. Do not get stuck in the overthinking phase. Do not push away your happiness or wonder how long it's gonna last. Do not self-deceive yourself, okay? If you have something in your life here in mid-May that's making you incredibly happy and incredibly fulfilled, be as present as you can be and let yourself enjoy it because Aquarius, you deserve to enjoy happiness and you deserve to enjoy abundance, all right? And getting back to the main message of this reading, it's like, are we choosing lack or are we choosing abundance? Because when you're choosing lack, Aquarius, you're choosing self-doubt. When you're choosing abundance, you're choosing to know that you can have what it is that you want because it already exists, okay? Getting a little esoteric here, but here's a belief that I have. I believe that every single possible reality that we could potentially have all exists at once. That's the way that I look at it, right? So for example, there is a reality right now where I am a rock star, okay? As big as Post Malone, singing my songs and shit. And then there's also a reality where I probably am, you know, a baker or some shit, right? So every reality simultaneously exists at once. How do we jump dimensions or jump realities? We jump those realities by aligning ourselves and aligning our beliefs to what we can be. So Aquarius is, if your wish fulfillment is to have a happy ending and a happy relationship, feel and act as if you already have one. Plus, whatever your wish fulfillment is anyways, I see it coming into alignment with you moving into the second half of this month. Aquarius, if your wish fulfillment is to be a famous singer, start working on your songs. Start acting as if you're already a famous singer. Stop having self-doubt, okay? Recognize that by aligning yourself to the reality you want to be a part of, you will merge to that reality, okay? I promise you guys, it's possible, all right? So play the part, play the character of what it is that you want in your life, and you're going to shift to that reality. No more self-doubt. We live in abundance. There is abundance of realities and abundance of different lives and paths that we can take. We just have to put ourselves in alignment to get there, okay? All right, guys, hopefully this message wasn't confusing. By the way, these mid-months are gonna be very short and to the point, so this is a short and sweet message. If it resonates, cool. If not, it's not your message. If you're confused, comment down below. I'll try to sum up what I was talking about. Uh, but nonetheless, though, guys, there is some really, really awesome stuff coming in here for you guys this month. Um, there is really cool shit coming in alignment with you. Don't doubt yourself. Live in abundance. Know that you can have this. Let yourself have this. And don't... Um, don't hold yourself back from anything that makes you happy this month. Enjoy your happiness. Let yourself be happy, all right? Don't let the self-doubt come in and screw everything up. All right, Aquarius? Okay. All right, Aqua. I love you guys so much. Like I said, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope that this reading makes sense. If not, comment down below, um, and I will touch base on anything that I need to. But I love you all so much. Enjoy the rest of your May 2021, and I will catch you guys in your June readings, okay? All right, Aquarius. Have yourselves a good one. Peace.